Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture. From this lecture today, we will start creating our Android Studio project and we'll implement the email authentication. So by the end of this section, you'll be able to create an Android application that have the fully email authentication features. That means you can sign in with the application with email and password. You can let the user create new account. You can let the user sign in with the created account with username and password and so on. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to create the Android app here. I'm going to open my Android Studio. You can see it is already open in my desktop. Create the new project. Select the empty activity. Click on next. And now I'm going to give a proper name for this application. So I'm going to give the name as auth app. Okay. So since we are going to, uh, let, let me say email auth app. Okay. So email auth app. Now uh, I'm going to let everything else as it is because we are using Java and I'm also going to select the minimum API as 25 and click on finish. Okay, the build is finished now and let's go ahead and start implementing the things that we need. So first of all, we need to connect this application to the Firebase. So I have already shown you guys how to do that. So you can simply go ahead and do it yourself. Or if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to teach you one more thing here. And that is if you already have the Firebase project, you can connect this particular Android application to that project. So you don't need to create new Firebase project for every Android Studio project that you create. Okay. So what you can do is you can connect this particular Android Studio to the Firebase project that we have already created before. So we'll go ahead and see how we can do that. And also one more thing you need to understand is that we are using the free tier of Firebase. So they only allow you to create two project and you can't create more than two project. So what you can do is you can connect your new Android Studio project to the existing Firebase project. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So go to the Firebase assistant here, go to email and, authentic email and password authentication, click on connect to Firebase, same process. And now here, uh, select the account that we need. Now let's select the sample app. Okay, so this is the uh, Firebase project that we have created before. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this new authentication app project to the sample app. So I'm going to select this. And once you do that, it's going to ask you to connect the project. It's going to take a while and now click on connect. After that, you can go back to the sample app dashboard here and here you will see two project. Okay. So, okay. Let me go back here. Let me refresh this again. And now I'm going to click on the sample app and here you, you will see we have two application that is connected to this particular project. Okay. So in our case, that is email auth app and sample app. So we'll be working with this sample app here. And if we go back to Android studio, we will get this message saying that our project is connected to the sample app Firebase project. Okay. So that that's how we connect multiple Android studio project to a single Firebase project. Now what we, we need to do is we need to add these dependencies. So click on that, accept changes and we are good to go. Okay, so this is it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll be designing the login and registration activities and layouts and so on. So I will see you there. Bye bye.